Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we are taking a look at some brand new images of the TaylorMade Milled Grind 3 wedges that have just come out. Some leaked images from the tour from the AT and T Byron Nelson this week and we're going to be having a look at all these images talking you guys through maybe some of the new technology featured in these wedges what to expect the looks maybe what price point they'll be coming out at as well so let's dive straight in if you're new to the channel give this video a like subscribe comment any thoughts you have down below i'd love to know what you hear what well, what you think of these wedges and let me know what wedges you're currently playing as well so here we go, let's take a look at this. TaylorMade Milled Grind 3. First of all, we have this image of all, well, four different photos from four different angles of this wedge. But let's dive in and let's take a closer look at each of these images. So first of all, let's take a look at the back of this wedge. We have two different wedges in this video to take a look at, a 52 and a 56 degree. Here, obviously, we've got the, the uh, 52. And first of all, looks pretty good. Looks, you know, a different look for this wedge than some of the previous tailor-made wedges with the milled grind one and milled grind two. Definitely a slightly cleaner look they've gone for with this wedge. Quite futuristic looking. Um, quite a lot to talk about here. Obviously, we have the milled grind three logo. Uh, kind of near the hosel and it says milled grind three on it. It says 52 degrees on the sole and if you zoom in it says uh, standard bounce SB09 so nine degrees of bounce on this wedge and then obviously has tailor made written on the hosel and the little tailor made logo on the toe. Big chunk of the back of this wedge is missing. They've kind of carved out quite a lot of the weight from this wedge from that kind of middle section. And it looks to me like they've repositioned some of that weight higher up in the face and also lower down in the head. Now, this kind of reminds me, I don't know about you guys, but this kind of reminds me of some of the things Titleist have done with the Vokey wedges, where they've carved out the middle section to reposition weight higher on the face and lower so that, well, to be honest, I can't really remember, but it's something to do with CG, it's something to do with the weighting and improved performance with these wedges. So if you have any more information, do comment it down below. Also, we can see, if you zoom in a little bit, that the bottom, the sole of these wedges is still milled. Obviously, it would be pretty surprising if they were calling these the milled grind wedges, if they weren't still going to be milled. The sole of these is still milled. Other than that, from this angle, there isn't too much to take a look at, but I kind of think there might be a little bit more um, than meets the eye with these wedges. So let's just take a look at a different photo now. Let's take a look at this photo of the two wedges in a golf bag. So here we have the 52 and the 56 degree. And again, you can see on both of these wedges, they have that, that portion of the middle kind of carved out. Um, again, which is probably going to be something to do with CG and weighting. You always know when TaylorMade release a new golf product, even if it seemingly doesn't look, it doesn't have much technology kind of on the outside, you know there's going to be some kind of technology that TaylorMade marketing department can really jump on and can push out there to say, you know, this is the best wedge we've ever released you know, this is why you should buy it, it's going to improve performance, this is how it's going to improve performance, etc. The story with the milled grind two wedges was really mostly to do with that raw face, with the raw face that, you know, if you sprayed kind of a salt water solution on, it would rust very, very, very quickly. Um, and we will be talking again in this video to see if these are going to have some raw faces on them. So let's dive in and let's take a look at another different photo here. Let's have a look at a photo from above from kind of, you know, as if you were playing these wedges. And the view from above from, you know, down the line looks pretty good. They, to me, and you guys feel free to comment your thoughts down below at this, to me they look like a slightly squarer sitting wedge than maybe we've seen from TaylorMade in the past. Um, my kind of, I do have the milled grind two wedges, and they probably in my mind have a slightly rounder head profile than this, especially with the leading edge down at the ball. To me, 
th these look like they do have that slightly squarer front edge and maybe even a slightly squarer top line still with that rounding out around the toe obviously we can see with these wedges the grooves don't extend on the toe they kind of stop in a traditional sense as you would with the golf club we can't really see too much more to do with the faces of these wedges from this position we can't really tell if they're raw from here but what we can see from this position it appears like there's more grooves lower down on the face and fewer and as you work your way up the wedge the grooves space out a little bit now this will most likely be because if you catch a shot higher on the face you don't want it to come out with as much spin because odds are you you haven't caught it as well and it's probably going to go short so probably to you know help out with spin rates a little bit there make them a bit more consistent on the face and get that carry distance much much more consistent um it'll be interesting if that's part of their marketing story this year and comment down below if you have any other theories on this wedge let's take a look at another photo now let's have a look at kind of face on angle of the toe uh, sorry of the club face and here we can see the club face pretty clearly now there's a few interesting little details to take a look at from this position there's a kind of banding around the hosel of this golf club not the black but actually like a slight cr chrome banding around the hosel and you can kind of see that in a little bit in the other photos now will that have any impact on the wedge will it be a new piece of technology it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's just an aesthetic thing. But also, you know, that's going to be costing TaylorMade extra money to, to make. So whether it's an aesthetic thing, whether there's a bit more to it, who knows. But to my eye, it's just an aesthetic thing. But it looks pretty cool. I'm just kind of surprised because, you know, it's going to be costing them more money to add that to these wedges. And I'm not sure if it's 100% necessary. But let's look at the club face. To my eye, and comment your thoughts down below, these w these do look like a raw finish on them. Why do they look like a raw finish on them? Well, I'm guessing this is a fairly new wedge that they're using here. Like, it doesn't, you know, I'm guessing they're not going to be using a, you know, wedge. Obviously, this is a pre-released product, so... Um, I'm guessing they haven't been hitting a huge amount of balls with this wedge, but we can already see some wear marks, some dirt and stuff on the face of this wedge. And that really tends to happen a bit more with the raw finish on the wedges. You know, you don't get that kind of really clean, fresh looking new look for very long with these wedges. But they also maintain their performance and higher spin rate for a lot longer. That's why you have the raw face in wet conditions or you know in any case they tend to last a bit longer have a bit higher spin rate on them um so to my eye these would look like raw wedges raw faces on these wedges um again comment your thoughts down below the other reason i think these are raw is because there's quite a clear difference between like if you look at the heel and the toe and then the actual club face with the grooves on it they're not they're quite clearly a kind of different material or different finish at least so you know that would look like a raw kind of face they've slotted into this wedge here also from this angle you can again see it looks like a fairly square bottom line kind of what we were talking about earlier the bottom of this club to me looks like it might be a little bit squarer than previously maybe a slightly different head shape and possibly even slightly squarer on that top line as well and comment what you think about this down below i replied to all your comments i'd love to hear your thoughts on this and just any thoughts you have on this wedge or what your favorite wedges are do you like the vokies do you like any other particular brand and now let's uh have a look at a very another really interesting angle on this wedge which is kind of from the toe angle here and this also tells us shows us kind of a few different things first of all it's a bit easier to see that we can see the milled marks on the sole of the wedge so we can clearly see it's definitely milled it kind of to me looks like you know this well the whole wedge is just a one piece solid milled wedge um it doesn't really look like there's been any additions to you know inserts or anything like that 
The one thing I kind of thought with these wedge, would there be any story of any kind of injection or any materials added to the inside of this wedge? Because it's quite a clean looking wedge from the outside. So I'm, I'm just, I would be really interesting to, interested to hear the tailor-made marketing hype and story with this wedge because from the outside, you know, there's not that much to look at. There's not, it's, it's clean, it looks good but like there's no visible real technology maybe other than just the kind of cg um placement in the uh, you know of the weighting with that back portion and that's something we can also see from this angle you can quite clearly see probably a bit more weight lower in the head on that back portion of the sole and then also just up from there there's that cutaway where they've removed weight and then the top back portion of the wedge uh, looks like it's almost a little bit thicker like there's a bit more weight in that section and this again is something we've seen other wedge manufacturers do such as Titleist etc. So overall impressions of this wedge well it looks like you know again the finish on it is is not kind of chrome it's quite kind of um, it's quite a dull finish I guess you could say but it has that kind of chrome band on the uh, on the hosel. Overall impressions, it's 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 a good looking wedge, definitely a good looking wedge. I like the look of it, it looks good. Um, looks like possibly a slightly different head shape, possibly a little bit hard to see from some of these angles, but we'd have to really compare it to like the milled grind two to really see. And it's kind of interesting, there's no more real visible technology within these wedges when we think of tailor-made. I think we probably think of leaders in technology of golf clubs in the golf industry and you know whether it, so it's just kind of interesting to see this product that appears to be quite simple quite basic maybe this is a slightly new direction tailor-made are going in because if you think of like the sim 2 drivers not a huge amount of technology in them. I mean, there is technology in them. There's certainly, you know, a lot of research and development that went into them, but no movable weight system in them. You could kind of argue in some sense that some of the previous drivers had more visible technology, such as movable weight tracks, etc. And so, you know, again, slightly interesting, you know, maybe, ta maybe TaylorMade want to make kind of a more simple consumer ready golf product that isn't all about the kind of marketing hype so you know let me know your thoughts on that below i really do like the look of them i think they look great i'm sure they'll perform really really well you know i think when we look at vokey's um who you know vokey's probably the leading wedge uh creators for the last you know 30 40 years uh, you know, or well, certainly maybe maybe 20, 30 years. I haven't been around the golf industry that long. But um, yeah, when we think about Vokey wedges, they don't ever tend to do anything over the top, I wouldn't say. They don't tend to oversell their products, I also wouldn't say. They produce a very good product, a very clean looking product, and they kind of say, this is what it is, this is what it does, this is how we've tried to improve it. Maybe TaylorMade are taking a slight leaf out of their book, not going for such the kind of flashy technology and, you know, marketing hype with these. Maybe they're just releasing a really good, solid product and letting the product speak for itself. Who knows? I would be surprised if that was the case. I think TaylorMade, you know, they always have a story behind their product, so that would really surprise me. So... Comment down below, guys. Let me know what you think of these wedges. What wedges do you play? I, I've got in my next video some new uh, Callaway wedges coming out, some new Callaway Jaws. What are they? The Jaws 5 wedges or something? Uh, yeah, I think the Jaws... Well, we've got the Jaws full toe and, yeah, looks like Jaws kind of 5 wedges that actually look pretty interesting, kind of almost a slight similar story to this. So make sure you stay tuned for that video on my channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Click that bell icon to be notified of all my future videos. Give this one a like. Comment your thoughts down below. I will see you in that next video, guys. Make sure you don't miss it. As always, thank you so much for joining me. And grip it and rip it.